My name is Steve, and I'm going to show you, um, actually I'm going to write in the description on how to do this, but this is um, a Dell Optiplex GX620 with an MSI NVIDIA GeForce so, la, 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 610 GT <laughs> video card, 2 gigabytes and a Sound Blaster Live, just old, that I found in my garage, and a TP-Link WLAN 723N wireless card. This is um, Yosemite 10.10.4, and it is running on a dinosaur and it runs pretty well. And I guess I need to prove to you that this is actually the Dell Optiplex. And yes, it's loud. It's the slim version. Not real pretty, the big funky video card that kind of sticks out. Not video card, the sound card that kind of sticks out. But hey, you know, I'll push it to the side and nobody will see it. So I can dual boot on this one um, everything works uh, you know you're, you're not gonna you know go playing like super crazy uh, HD games you're probably not gonna watch video very smoothly in HD um, but at 480 uh, which is plenty good for most monitors um, you will see um, you'll see that it works pretty well Sometimes when I first start the video, it lags for just a second, but that's not a big deal. So we'll just show you this real quick, especially if you put it to this. It may just for a second lag. I just turned the sound up. So you can see it works yeah. great. No, it was actually my father. Is he here? No, he is not. I'm going to go ahead and hit restart, and I won't make you wait. It takes, sometimes it takes five seconds, sometimes it takes 35 seconds. For it to fully restart, it could take a an entire minute, because it takes it a while to shut down. But be patient, otherwise it's going to take forever to start up and ask you if you want to start up where you were when your computer screwed up or if you want to start from the beginning so we're gonna hit restart and I'll pause it for a second there it restarts I'm gonna hit a button as soon as it goes because I only have one second set so I just want to show you it has uh, it has Yosemite you already saw it um, and it has uh, windows on it and I better turn the volume down on Windows or it will be absolutely obnoxious. There's your Windows XP and the video card I installed, the drivers for it. It's it's no problem. I'm gonna restart this and go back and just let you uh see that this is valid. As soon as I find the restart thing, trying to film and look at this at the same time. It's actually trying to install my printer, but I'm not going to bother installing my printer yet because basically I print everything from Mac. I have a, my printer is a um, Samsung ML1740. Uh, I got the cups drivers and then just went right and installed it, no problem. So. I'm going to pause it just for a second here for you. Okay, here you go. I'm just going to let it boot up into Macintosh, but I will pause it for a second. You can see it gave one second, and then it's going to go right into Hackintosh. So we're going to pause. One of these days I'm going to get good at holding this camera still. I would have actually done a video tutorial, except that uh, <laughs> I, would have, I would make everybody terribly ill. 
So there you see it, and this is the wireless uh, utility that comes on automatically. You can just close it. Um, that's because I installed it, and the directions will be in the description or maybe in a comment afterwards. But anyway, you, you can see that uh, you can see that it works. So I'll just go to uh, I don't know. I can go to just about anything, I suppose. Um, we'll just go to. Uh, Transposer.com, that sounds like a good one. It's really good for transposing MP3s. If you need to uh, sing something in a key that uh, is too high or too low. So anyway, you can see it works. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for you. Just look at uh, the instructions at, um, in the description. God bless you.